Delanger shines to offer Glamorgan faint hope. In a meeting of the Central Group's bottom two, Charlie Thurston and Ben Curran steered Northamptonshire to a first innings lead against Glamorgan on day two. Looking to add to that advantage, Northants began day three on 288 for five, with a first innings lead of 29 runs. But they'd only managed to add three more before they lost a wicket. Tim van der Hoogten's outswinger with the new ball was too tempting for save save. The host now 291 for six. Northamptonshire captain Ricardo Vasconcelos began where he left off from the previous day and would fittingly bring up his 50 with a boundary. Brett Hutton didn't hang around long at the opposite end, as Marchant de Langer with too much pace for him, Salmon again on hand in the slips for his third catch of the innings. Five balls later and the home side lost an eighth wicket. Dan Douthwaite's short ball caught Simon Kerrigan out to hand a simple catch to Glamorgan captain Chris Cook and leave Northants 321 for eight. De Langer's persistence would eventually catch Vasconcelos out, who knew almost as soon as he'd lofted it. Out for 58, caught on the boundary by van der Huchten. And De Langer had his fourth wicket in the very next over to clean up the tail, with Blessing Mizrabani taking a swing and a miss to leave Northants all out for 332. That handed them a first innings lead of 73, with Thurston's maiden century the standout knock to leave Northamptonshire with the upper hand, with De Langer the pick of the visitors' seam attack. Glamorgan would have wanted to make it to lunch without losing a wicket, but Ms. Rabani had other ideas. Having taken three catches in the field, opener Selman got a taste of his own medicine, sent back for one after a good catch from Vasconcelos. Before Kieran Coulson was again dismissed for a single figure, trapped by Hutton to leave Glamorgan two for two at lunch. It didn't get any better after the restart. With his tail up, Musrabani's delivery was too much for Billy Root as Vasconcelos took off down the leg side to take a fine catch, his sixth of the match, and leave Glamorgan in trouble on seven for three. The collapse continued, Joe Cook next to go as Jack White thumped into his front pads to send the opener back for just three and leave the away side reeling on 15 for four. In came debutant Callum Taylor, hoping to kickstart the fight back with a repeat of his stunning hundred in the first innings. But Ms. Rabani was in no mood for sentiment. Taylor sent back for a duck to leave the Welsh County 16 for five. The ball was swinging for White and captain Chris Cook was given a reprieve on 14. Two balls later, same setup and Cook was gone as Hutton held the catch. Glamorgan left to ponder where it all went wrong as they fell to 28 for six. They were struggling to cope with White and the Northant Seamer had his third wicket and seventh of the match shortly after. Van der Hoogten next to go as Thurston took a simple catch at point. Douthwaite was doing his best to help his side avoid an innings defeat, finding the groundsman's shed with a maximum of Ms. Rabani. He was running out of partners though, as White grabbed his fourth wicket for a first-class best to bowl Kieran Bull round his legs. The score now 60 for eight. But the tail order wouldn't roll over, and Delanger proved to be more than handy with the bat, knocking Ms. Rabani around the ground in an expensive over costing 22 runs. Some incredible hitting from Delanger and Douthwaite would bring up a 50 partnership to frustrate Northants as Glamorgan went into T 111 for eight. Douthwaite quickly brought up his 50 after the resumption as the big hitting continued. Having been on the brink of victory, Northamptonshire's undoing has once again come from some lower order swatting and 57 balls was all it took for Douthwaite and Delanger to bring up the 100 partnership the visitors now 161 for eight. Delanger continued to frustrate and the hard hitting continued as he moved to 80. And in the blink of an eye, Glamorgan moved to 200 to increase their lead by 127. With Delanger edging towards a maiden century, he was made to hold his breath in search of his ton, dropped on 98 to compound Northant's misery. The seamer would manage to hang on though, and did bring up 100 to cap off a sensational innings. Of just 62 balls, including eight sixes, the quickest of all time for Glamorgan. 
The partnership of 168 with Dalthwaite would be brought to an end as he was stumped for a career-best 86. Delanger's blockbuster innings was also curtailed for 113 and with it Glamorgan's innings, caught by Rob Keogh with the visitors all out for 261. Having been 28 for 6 at one point, Delanger and Dalthwaite will take all the credit for Glamorgan for snatching them out the hands of defeat and setting Northants 189 for victory. Ben Curran and Emilio Gay opened the innings with 19 overs left in the day, as both looked assured in the opening stages. But Curran couldn't match his first innings knock, lofting straight back to van der Hoogten to leave the host 27 for 1. Their other first innings hero Thurston continued in the same vein, to bring up 50 as Northants closed day 3 on 62 for 1. With a modest target of 127 to chase on day 4, the weather may end up having the final say on how much time the home side are afforded at the crease.